Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use user input to rotate your character. This is part two of a five video series. In the previous video, we did basic movement. In the video following this, we'll do jumping. And the two videos following that will be about manipulating and changing the camera between third and first person. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. The first thing we wanna do is go up to edit project settings, and then we want to go down to input, and we're going to add a new axis mapping. This one is going to be horizontal rotation, and we want this one to be mapped to our mouse X, and we'll leave the scale as 1. So now we can go ahead and close that out, and we're going to open up my character. And we're going to go over to the header and we need to add a new including. And this one is going to be camera, camera component dot h. Once we've done that, we can scroll down to private and we're going to add a new function. And this one is going to be horizontal root. And we want to provide it with the argument of float value. And then we're also going to need a property for our camera. And so this is going to be a U camera component. And I'm just going to call it cam. Now that we're done with that, we can go over to our CPP. And we want to add a couple things to our constructor. The first thing we want to do is B use controller rotator. Yeah, we want to make this false. And the reason that we're making this false is because Unreal defaults this to true, but we're not using Unreal's player controller. We're using the my character script we created. So we want my character to be rotating on its own and not following the player controller's rotation. If we leave it as true, it'll follow that player character's rotation and it won't rotate when we want it to rotate. So following this, we want to create an attacher camera. So we're going to do cam equals create default sub object. And then we're going to do you camera component. And for the text, we're just going to do camera. And then we want to attach our camera to our root component. So we're going to do attach to root component. And now we can just go ahead and scroll down to our input so we can add the new axis mapping. So we're going to do input component bind axis. And then we want to make sure that this is the name that we put inside our project settings for our mouse X mapping. And that was horizontal rote. And then we want to make sure that we're binding it to this. And then the function will be a my character horizontal rote. And now finally, we can create our rotation function. So we'll go ahead and do void a my character horizontal root, and then float value. And the first thing you want to do inside of this is make sure that value isn't null. And then if it's not, we want to add actor local rotation, and then we're going to give it a F rotator with a zero in the pitch, a value in the yaw, and a zero in the roll. And what this function is saying is anytime we're given value through our inputs, then we want to add that value in our yaw direction. So this is all of the code for this tutorial. So we can go ahead and go back to our scene and compile. And now that it's compiled, we can go ahead and test and play. So as you can see, whenever I move my mouse back and forth, it rotates my player left and right. So as a recap, we created and attached a camera and used Unreal's inputs to tell the system when to rotate our player. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave those in the comments or feel free to join our Discord and ask them there. The link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.